Hey everybody, this is the uh, little uh, uh, NXP MRF uh, reference board uh, that I built up and I'm using it as a uh, 100 watt amplifier for the 20 meter band. The uh, reference design is actually uh, set up for uh, 13 and a half uh, megahertz and it's been slightly modified to uh, work on the uh, 14 megahertz or 20 meter band really just to run through a couple of the uh, items on here. The uh, input SMA, it goes through a matching network and is fed into the gate of the, uh, the uh, transistor itself. The uh, little uh, diode that's glued onto the top of the transistor is actually part of the uh, thermal compensation in the bias network. As the device gets uh, hotter, it becomes more conductive and the uh, uh, diode helps to, uh, bring the uh, bias down so the, the transistor does not go into thermal runaway. On the output, um, it goes uh, through another uh, impedance matching circuit that takes it from the relatively low impedance of the transistor up to a higher impedance, uh, which is 50 ohms for the output to go out to the antenna or out to the dummy load in this case. And on the input, um, there for the DC input comes in on this binding post here and it goes through uh, the green coil, which acts as a choke before being fed into the, uh, the drain of the, uh, um, of, the, of the FET. On the front here, there's just a, uh, I think it's a 10K pot, and this is the adjustment for the uh, biasing current on it. I have, uh, just for testing, I have this mounted on a really beefy piece of copper. It uh, probably wouldn't be uh, good for a really, really long uh, QSO, but it's enough to get me through uh, some of the testing. So anyways, let's go hook this up to the spectrum analyzer and see how it does. So we've got a uh, KX3 that's set to a half a watt and we're using the uh, tune mode to uh, drive the RF out. It comes out, it's about 26 dBm and it goes through a 6 dB attenuator. Then that is fed into the uh, amplifier that comes in about 20 dBm and leaves at 50 dBm. And then we have the LP100A for measuring the output from the amplifier. And then it goes through a 40 dB attenuator that's in series with another 10 dB attenuation, which makes the signal safe to be able to go to the uh, spectrum analyzer. And finally, we end up at the uh, 8591E where we'll make the measurements of the, uh, harmonic, uh, uh, the harmonics that are coming out of the amplifier. So let's see how the amplifier performed here. So you can see the uh, fundamental uh, there on the left hand side and we've got the second and third harmonic displayed and I've got the 8591 in the split marker mode which will give us the delta difference from the fundamental to the uh, second harmonic and ideally what we'd want this to be is at uh, minus 43 we're at minus uh, 35 uh, db so um, it does not meet spec for uh, part 97 so we'll have to build a little uh, low pass filter in order to be able to knock down that uh, second harmonic uh, uh, level. And then if we scroll over further, we can go look at the, uh, the third harmonic and the third harmonic is down at 50, which would actually would meet the uh, specifications for the FCC. Anyways, uh, look for future updates here.